Checo Perez's viral fail during his exhibition in Madrid, the Mexican ate a fork and had to be helped by one of the organizers in an image as viral as the donuts of him next to the Cibeles fountain. The Mexican driver Sergio Checo Perez from the Red Bull Racing Team starred this Saturday night in the Red Bull Showroom event for the community of Madrid an exhibition about his Formula One car and which culminated with a tour of the most emblematic streets of the Spanish capital. The central act, with Checo Perez at the wheel of the RB7 car, was completing a route with Plaza de Cibeles as the nerve center. The Mexican driver passed through Calol Cola and Paseo de Recolitos at the height of Caleprim, although his final route ruled out the vicinity of Puerta de Alcola, as it is a protected monument. On one of the laps, when he came to a fairly tight corner, the Red Bull driver did not calculate too well and overbraked, having to stop dead. One of the organizers had to help him back down twice to be able to continue with the exhibition in an image that has gone viral on social networks, just like the donuts and skids that the Mexican signed before the Cibeles fountain. The event began with a kart race with influencers and Spanish drivers from different specialties. Out of a total of 60 Red Bull brand ambassadors, only eight had emerged victorious from the qualifiers held by El Tomorrow at the Carlos Sainz Cotting in Las Rosas, Madrid. Christian Honor assures that Checo is going to break it in Hungary. The Red Bull racing boss is confident that the Mexican driver will continue his improvement in the 2023 season. After several weeks with problems in qualifying, Christian Horner, the boss of Red Bull Racing, gave a vote of confidence to Sergio Checo Perez after he has had good actions in his last few races, which have served to make up the problems he has had to set up his car, at least in the last three Formula One races. However, Honor reiterated his confidence in the Mexican driver and assured that he will improve his performance in the Hungarian Grand Prix, which will be held on July 2023. He just needs to break it now. He will do it in Budapest, I'm sure. The way he runs, I mean, some of the moves of his in the race at Silverstone, the one he did on Carlos Sainz in particular, was pretty amazing for Stowe. If you look at his rhythm in the last part, he was there. And he added, in statements to the official Formula One site, it is frustrating for him to have to defend himself all the time, but he only has to solve qualifying for him on Saturday, and as a team we will do everything possible to support him in that. For this reason, he reiterated the support of the Austrian team for the driver from Guadalajara, Mexico, since he believes that he only needs a round weekend to recover the level he showed in the first races of the season. I think it's just one of those things, like in all sports, it's 90% up front and I think it just needs one good race and it'll find its momentum again. You're always looking for perfection in this business. Of course, we're always trying to say, where can we improve? In this case, it's like, okay, where can we help Checo achieve what he does on Sundays on Saturdays? Full confidence in the ability of Checo Perez. Horner explained that inside Red Bull they believe that Checo is the kind of guy who just needs an arm around his shoulder. You work with him and that's what we're doing. We're rooting for him. We know he can do it. We know he's going to be back there and we're just trying to make sure it happens as quickly as possible. In fact, it was Checo himself who, after rescuing a sixth place in the Great Britain Prize, who accepted his lack of regularity in qualifying, but thanked Red Bull for its support for which he assured that he would soon put an end to his losing streak. He did everything he could, the important thing is to solve Saturday and on Sundays everything comes natural. The car is very difficult for me without gasoline, he said. I have the full support of the team, of Helmet, Christian and all my engineers. Everyone in the team knows what I am capable of. Sometimes this is how it is, when you are not completely comfortable with the car you usually see these margins. It is something that happens to any other driver, but it is about how they overcome the situation he declared at the end of the competition. Christian Horner and his dream team at Red Bull, Fernando Alonso still does not enter into his plans, as every year at this point in the season, rumors have already begun about the possible movements of drivers and teams within the Formula One grid, what in the great circus is known as the silly season, which would come to be the same as the transfer market in the world of football. After Daniel Ricciardo's first move to Alfa Tori after the dismissal of Nick Devries, 
Other rumors that place two elite pilots in Red Bull's orbit begin to gain strength. Christian Honor's disappointment with Checo Perez as Max Verstappen's partner can be translated into the departure of the Mexican pilot. Perez is very far from the performance of his Dutch teammate, who with the same car seems unbeatable and already has 99 points in the 2023 Drivers' World Championship standings, a situation that has caused the Austrian team to probe the situation of other drivers on the grid. Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc could accompany Verstappen at Red Bull. The situation seems quite limited in the future of Checo Perez at Red Bull. That is why the Milton Keynes-based team has decided to start looking for a replacement now. Ricciardo's departure to Alfa Tori makes the Austrian team dream of the possibility of a great signing and the two that have gained strength in recent days have been Leclerc and Norris. Something that further distances Fernando Alonso from the remote possibility of ending up driving the most powerful car on the grid. The Monegasque seems much more difficult to achieve, although his current situation at Ferrari has exhausted the patience of Charles who could contemplate leaving the Italian team at the end of the season. The Formula portal ensures that Leclerc has already held talks with Red Bull to sign with them in 2025. In case of Norris seems much more feasible after the statements of Helmut Marko, former driver and advisor to Red Bull. He has a contract with McLaren until 2025, but he is the strongest of the young drivers. His youthful nature would also suit him better at Red Bull, and it's no secret that he and Max are good friends, said Dion Mocco after Norris' great result at Silverstone. What is clear is that if this change occurs, it will not be in the short term, and it is most likely that Red Bull will continue with Checo Perez until the end of the season. There we will know if he has managed to show that they can continue to count on him to be Max's partner. Verstappen on his dominance. I would get bored if I didn't have the chance to win. Max Verstappen looks unbeatable in Formula 1 this season. The Red Bull racing driver is almost 100 points ahead of his teammate Sergio Perez after the top 10 of 22 Grands Prix. The championship leader simply enjoys his dominance, he said in an interview with British television. If he had no chance of winning, he would get bored. Until the Miami race, the fifth round of the World Championship, the two Red Bull drivers were still facing a fierce battle. Verstappen won three times and was second twice. Perez was only 14 points behind after finishing fifth instead of taking third. Since then, the Dutchman has only won Grands Prix, all five also from pole position. He now has a 99-point advantage. We like to be in the lead because we know what it feels like not to be at the top, Verstappen said in an interview with Channel 4. Before clinching his first world title in 2021, the Dutchman didn't always have luck on his side. Renault powerhouse tended to drop out too often and after the switch to Honda it took a while to break Mercedes' dominance. And if he wins the championship this year in Japan or Qatar or maybe sooner or later, the Red Bull driver isn't worried at the moment. I'd rather not think too much about it. I just want to win more until we get to the point where it's really possible to secure the title. Verstappen was then asked if he didn't find his own dominance boring, to which he replied, it's quite the opposite, I'd get bored if I didn't have a chance to win. Now that I'm fighting in front of the field, I'm motivated, I love what I do. The challenge of wanting even more, staying at the front and closing the gap by making it even bigger is my motivation right now. It's certainly not boring for me, concludes the championship leader.